everyone. Welcome to our first hangout. I am so excited to be here with my girls and we are going to be talking about our men and how we met them. So I'm going to introduce, introduce myself first and then they're all going to let you know about themselves and their channels and then we're going to get started on all the juicy details. If you don't know me, I'm Sarah from Sensational Finds. I have two little boys and I share them and my husband and myself and Dollar Tree hauls. I'm a big Dollar Tree hauler. Um, and I just share them and my life as a mom to them. And that's basically it. So I'm going to pass it on to them and then we're going to get started in the Hangout. Hi guys, my name is Shirley and on Life as a Twin Mom you'll see vlogs of my life as a mom of multiple. I also have preschool related things like crafts and lunches and snacks and I also do Trader Joe's hauls. Woohoo! Thank you. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello, guys. This time, I'm Ayesha's mom, and I do curly mommy vlogs. Also, me and my husband um, share our weight loss journey with you guys. We also do hauls and everything, and we're basically just here to support all the moms. Good times, Loretta. Hi guys, I'm Loretta from Fun for Lala here on YouTube. I'm married with four kids, ages six to nine. Um, me and my husband, we are United States Air Force veterans. I'm currently a stay-at-home mom. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, pretty much my videos consist of family vlogs, hauls, get ready with me's, and everything in between. And you all are more than welcome to come and join us. Hi guys, I'm Lee Howe from Lulu Bell. Um, I'm an island girl from Maui and I'm living on the mainland with my husband and my 18 month old boy named Yukaika. And on my channel, I like to do a lot of DIYs, anything baby mommy related, and just kind of anything fun. So I'd love to have you guys come check me out or check out the channel and definitely check out our Mama Mixer channel also. Yeah, so we are so excited about tonight because tonight's topic is all about love and how we met our men and relationships, what we like about our men, what we don't like about our men, um, <laughs> just everything that has to do with love for the month of February. So that's what we're going to talk about. And I think just to kick it all off, we should talk about how we met our man. So let's kick it off with that. Okay. Shirley? Okay. So um, I met my husband when I was 17. Uh, we were, I was hanging out with another guy and he brought me to, he's like, oh, we'll go to a friend's oh, house. And okay. I was like, okay. <laughs> and so we went over there and I walked in the door and he was playing video games and I'm like, hi, hi. And he's like, <laughs> I'm like, he can't even say hi to a person. And he's like, I went over there and I hung out like for a few weeks, and we didn't even talk to each other for a few weeks. But then after that, we talked, and I don't think we've been apart for more than five days since then. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's that's really cute. That is. I like that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I met I'll go. I met my husband in college. Um, we ended up at the same college. He played football, and I was working in the training room. That's like, if you don't know what the trainers do, it's like where you tape ankles and give ice and take care of like injuries. Um, and I was working in the training room. That's kind of how we met. Um, and then he ended up asking me out by actually by Facebook. It was kind of like really lame, but I'm happy that he did because we've been together for five years. Hi. Sweet. Aww. Sweet. Who's on top of next? Little more, Sarah. You're muted, Sarah. You're muted, Sarah. You're muted. You're muted. <laughs> There we go. I could hear myself through the actual hangout. Okay, so we're all good now. <laughs> yeah. So I met my husband at the club. So I think yeah. I was <laughs> and I was like wild. I was like crazy girl acting like a fool and I like his friend liked my friend, you know how that goes. And uh -huh. we just like ended up hanging out and we've been together ever since for like ten years. And you can oh find love at the club. It's okay. You can find them and good guys, I promise. For sure. For sure. 
Mm-hmm. It's so funny you said that because I met Jay Rell at the club. This is <laughs> we have everything in common. Yes, I met him at this is a place that he tells it. He glided into the room and I was swept up. But no, none of that happened. Um, I saw him. He looked nice. He uh, had dreads. And it's kind of funny and kind of sappy, but I always, like when I would go out or come home and vision my husband, I saw my husband. He was tall. And I could, like, you know you can see somebody's face, but you can't see, like, their eyes and stuff, but you can see their body and their dress, and it's kind of funny. Mm-hmm. I saw him, but I didn't see him, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. So, so and, the outline of him. Yeah, it was, that was the outline. It was the outline of the dress and, you know, tall, dark-skinned, handsome man, so got a little chocolate. <laughs> So I just want to share um, in the comments, two people said how they met their husband. So no gu- no guts, no glory. She said that she met her husband 36 years ago on a blind date. They were married for two weeks. Awesome. Yeah, they got married wow. for two weeks, and they said, that, uh, they said that it wouldn't last. So that one was a really good one that I saw. Two that weeks, wow. wow. That was awesome. You know, you know. You just know. Yeah, yeah. I totally agree. So who's the other met? person? Yeah. Um, the other one, let me see. I gotta go back to it. Um, the other one was Glitter DIY Diva, and she said, "I think our story is pretty awesome and romantic. We dated for two years and broke up, and met again just under three years later. With him having a bad relationship and a son, we met both times on a dating phone service." And she wow. said, "Both so times." Now I don't even think they have dating phone services. It's like all internet. I think all it's internet. pretty internet. But back in the day, it was all hotlines, phone uh, services. Right. 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 All right, so I'm going to say how I met my husband. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it. very simple. We got set up by my cousin. We were both in the Air Force at the time. We were both stationed in Arizona. My cousin, she was also in the Air Force, and she was there, and she kept on saying she had somebody that she wanted to introduce me to, and a good friend of mine, same thing. I'm like, no, no, no. They showed him to me at the gym. I was like, I don't know, because I was used to, I don't know why, I was used to dating either guys who are a little bit younger or my age, and my husband is about only six years older than me, but... Sometimes that can make quite a difference with men, and uh, or at least their style. <laughs> so I was like, ah, I don't know. And then Fourth of July came. I seen them like talking to each other. So I'm like, oh Lord, what are they doing? And then they're like, okay, after the little Fourth of July event, they're like, let's go to Denny's. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know what? I just know that they're doing this. I know that they're doing this. So there, I'm trying to like touch up my face, like, oh my God, I look like crap. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there he was, and I was like, oh, Lord Jesus, because I am super shy. Like, when it comes to me being in person with somebody, oh, my God, no! I, and, and I wasn't, like, dressed, in my opinion, to meet a man who I'm trying to impress, or my hair, or... I, no, I was just like... <laughs> and I remember he's like, you're so quiet. And I was like, uh... Yeah. Aww. <laughs> That's how we met. That is love. See, that, that made me feel special. We're going to keep with the sweetness. Now, we're going to get to the south. But we're going to keep with the sweetness for one more question. If Leah, you can tell us what is the sweetest thing your husband has ever done for you? Me? Yeah. Oh, man. I have to go first. Let's see. <laughs> the sweetest thing. Oh, my gosh. Can you come back to me? I'm, I should have been better prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it out there. I'll put it out there. My I do not, not believe that. I do not believe that, Jay. If you're watching, I know you can take stuff. Yeah, he'd probably be like, really? Really? Yes, I believe you. That's not going to Oh, So okay. my husband is not romantic. Yeah. Bobby's not romantic? No, not at all. He, oh my God, he's terrible. He is the worst. It's like after all these years, I just got used to it. It's like, no, no, nothing romantic, nothing like the sweetest thing he does, like get me 
coffee in the morning. That's what Aww, that <laughs> and that's sweet. pretty sweet. That's okay. I have a that's coffee. Okay. I got the bag. He's like, the lights came on. Ain't that real sweet? Will y'all walk up in the house? <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I got the bag. Shirley, come on. Let's save the men. You have a sweet story. Um, I thought of one. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, just yes. so you can think a little longer. Mm. Well, on our first year anniversary, yeah, it was our first year anniversary, um, my husband, he planned our whole, like, day or our, like, little vacation-ish trip thing, and so he, we were living in Phoenix at the time, and um, he planned a whole trip to Sedona, and he like booked us a hotel, and um, we went hiking, and we went like to the river, the Red Rock River, or something like that. And um, he made reservations at a fancy like steakhouse. It was like so romantic, and we had like a fireplace, and then we had you know like the top of our wedding cake to eat. So it was like it was really sweet and very unlike my husband. My husband is a lot like yours, Sarah. I mean, we're not as in a relationship, I think, as far as you guys are, but. He is not a romance kind of guy. <laughs> Lee, how are we gonna fight? My husband not sweet. He took me to Paris, but you know he don't do nothing. That is a terrible. <laughs> <laughs> he is terrible. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Who the money? Lala, you have any sweet stories? Who me? Yeah. My husband is. <sighs> He's like very lovey dovey, so it's hard to say. Like, like he's very, he's very affectionate. He's very sweet. He's always like, and I don't like, I I don't like to talk about it a lot because I feel like he's not the norm for men, and I understand that. And like, my even my homegirls be like, girl, that's all right. I didn't need to know your man did that for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 I'm just like. Oh. So, no, but, I mean, like, he's, you know, he's planned, like, trips into the city for, like, he knows I like musicals, so we did a trip to Broadway, and he did the whole thing, the hotel and all that. He does stuff like that. But most of all, he is just very hands-on, like, on a daily basis. Like, he told me I could take a nap before I did this today, and he cleaned up everything downstairs. My right. cup nice. was hand securing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he put the kids to bed, so... That's it right yeah, there. I, I, I right. give him props. I can't give him props. He gets the award. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. <sighs> Jeez, I just awesome. want to shout out the people that have left comments already. So let's see. Oh. Um, so we can say, someone said, hey, Tyne from Cali Baby Mama. You're amazing, Hi, buddy. Hey. Oh, <laughs> she is awesome. <laughs> Thank you for supporting us. Yay. And then there's another Thank one that says, S. SJM, it says, we have no family or babysitters nearby that we trust. We have really re neglected our relationship, and I can totally agree. I am like, I don't leave my kids with anybody like my mother-in-law, and that's about it. So we yeah. don't get out that often. So I can totally agree. So thank you to everyone that's left comments down below. We appreciate yes, it. Thank you. Insert yeah, Mama makes the plug. Um, Lee Howe left a great date night at home. So if y'all want to go yeah. to Mama's yeah. 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 channel, we yeah. give you a couple of things. <laughs> and that's the thing. Insert plug here. <laughs> You know, you know, I, I remember thinking um, when both me and my husband were in the military and also where we live now, you know, we retired, this is where we retired, but we're, we're not anywhere near any kind of family. So it's very difficult to find people to who you trust to watch yeah. your kids, especially nowadays, you know, with everything in the news. I, I know I was looking on this website as far as to, I don't know, interview uh, babysitters or whatever, but I'm I'm like, man, I don't know about all that, you know. Okay. And uh, but you know, to be quite honest, you know, you just kind of have to accept it, and you have to take it for what it's worth. And really, I, I know for us, you know, it's kind of been like, you know, you wanna sometimes you have to take your kids with you, and some or sometimes yeah. you have to really plan way ahead of time. You know, yeah. uh, unfortunately, things can't be spontaneous like you would like them to be, or how they show them in the movies. <laughs> the movies this is real life you know and real life is sometimes you gotta wait till you put your kids to bed sometimes you gotta like you know wait to even spend time together until maybe you both 
happen to wake up at three in the morning, <laughs> you know, or four in the morning, or you know, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's reality, yeah. and you have to you have to take advantage of that and whatever. Mm -hmm. On Instagram and the Mama Mixes, we got a shout out, and hopefully, I'm saying your name right. R Sarita. 27R said that they are watching my girls live hangouts. Proud of you, girl. Oh, so, uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got some sweets. Now we got to get to the sour. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna go first. What gets on my nerves? J. Ralph takes his socks off all over my house. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I have the laundry baskets, y'all. Oh, it's a plethora. I don't, throw them in the trash. I don't care. But if I walk past one more sock, balled up some kind of way, <laughs> he ain't gonna, he ain't, we ain't gonna make it. I don't think we're gonna we have to do another hangout. We didn't make it, y'all. One sock too many. One sock too many. That would definitely be mine. You know where he goes because you can see a trail of socks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just a trailer sock. I don't even like watching. You know the Michael Jordan commercial with Haynes and he showed his socks. I'm like, this turn turn. I don't even. I don't want to watch it because I'm so angry at socks. <laughs> <laughs> at least your husband takes off his socks. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. Sorry, babe. Uh, no, it's everywhere. <laughs> Shirley, what's yours? What's, what does your husband do? You have one? Yes, it's the wires. He oh. is, I can't, like, I have broke things because I go to, like, pull out the thing thinking that it's all, like, the way it should be, and it's just not, I can't even explain it. There's wires everywhere. Like, every <laughs> song has a wire and a hookup, and... And he's in IT, so there's a computer set up with a server and then that wire and the thing hums and I I can't stand it. I can't. I can't the wires. Mm -mm. Yeah, the wires. That's my I guess biggest I'll go pet peeve. Yes, I want to hear it. <laughs> the way that my husband chews is so disgusting. <laughs> oh. I hate hearing him chew. As soon as he chews, I have to like give him this death look. Like, don't do <laughs> He chews, and I don't even want to imitate it because it's so gross, but it's like this. Nobody's like, going to be off with Sunday dinner. Oh, I hate the way you chew. It's so disgusting. I cannot <laughs> And another thing, he forgets everything. He is so forgetful. I cannot even, he, he forgets everything. He'll be like, oh, did you tell me that? You didn't tell me that. I'm like, I told you that. I got a planner. I know what's going on. You know? I, got <laughs> I got a planner. I got a mom. I don't forget. <laughs> oh. So I could go on for days about what annoys me. He's a very nice guy, but, oh, he is so annoying. <laughs> um, well, my husband has, like, no joke, this might be gross, but the worst farts, like, for real. <laughs> no. For real, like, and it's, like, at the worst possible timing. Like, I'm getting into the car when you're sitting here, and it's cold outside, so you can't roll down the window. Top <laughs> Or, or like in front of the fan that's shooting right at me. Like really? <laughs> with your guys, are you like open with farting in front of them? Do they fart in front of you? Do you yeah. fart in front of them? I am like off limits. Like I, I don't even farting in our house. It's crazy. Even and I'm like, 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 I pass the gas. It's like, yeah, <laughs> I'm totally embarrassing myself right now, but it's the truth. Like J. Rel, when you like um, Shirley, how you said your husband is different. Jay Rollins this year, but I never see him fart. I, I, I really like, did you, when do you fart? I could, especially I had three kids back to back. I had issues. <laughs> Lord knows my heart. But I, just, I don't ever. Like, I never, like, even if he goes to the bathroom or has the issues, I, it's never been like, you know how you men, you think, oh, no, you, you know, all the clumps. Never. He's like the girl in the relationship. I'm the one, like, looking around like it was a baby, you know, lying on the <laughs> It's so it's so funny. Mm -hmm. so funny oh, I couldn't. I I, get, oh, like, I I don't even get down like that. He don't even like to. You handle yours, I'll handle mine, and we're good. I don't. I don't even really talk about it. I will put the blanket over girls' heads. Like, oh, here, smell oh, that. I'm like, I will. Like, <laughs> That's not cool. That's not cool. If you're watching this and you're a man, you're gonna lose your wife. <laughs> 
Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Major oh, no no. Oh, it hashtag Mama Mixes and say your most uh, nasty uh, thing that your husband has done. I would oh, love yeah. to read the comments yeah. afterwards. Yeah, Mama oh, Mixes yeah. on Twitter. 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 Let us know we're not alone. <laughs> yes, I want to read them. When I get off, I'll read them. Uh, Glitter DIY Diva said farts. <laughs> Yeah, so my, husband, my husband farts so bad at crazy times. I feel yes, you. Girl. I feel you. Okay, I am so excited about this question because uh, my friend Loretta has put everybody on suspense. So oh, she yes. has a wonderful story. She is going to let this us. one out, girl. And we have been waiting. So Loretta. Okay. All right. So. This is going to go great, this question, after all these lovely answers. <laughs> I mean, it's really going to fit in. I mean, it couldn't have worked out any better than it oh. is. Okay, so here's the story. Okay, so about two years back from my husband's birthday, I took him to this really fancy upscale restaurant. Within, um, It was within like a... Um, a casino uh, where we live and there's several different restaurants within that particular casino Wow the restaurant that I wanted to go to again fancy upscale you know like pinky out you know when in doubt <laughs> pinky out type of restaurant so we go there get all dressed up we actually found a babysitter and um, we're there enjoying ourselves whatever whatever okay so paid the bill whatever okay so we get up mm -hmm. to leave we are walking out toward the exit. However, we are still around other people who are sitting down. Okay, so my husband goes to sneeze. Now, with his sneezes, it's always like, Wah! okay, oh, no. one of those like crazy loud sneezes. So I, it, it gives me enough time to turn around because I'm walking ahead of him. So I turn around and I'm like, okay, right when he does that, it's like, in your face. What? He farted so loud at the same time of him sneezing around all these fancy people. But, 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 that's not the catcher right there. Mm -mm. When he did it, he, like, my husband is very, like, if you see him, you would think, God, is he always, is he mad? Is he angry? Like, what's, what's wrong with him? But he just has, like, this really, like, like, that's his natural expression, just a mad face. But when he did that, he went, <laughs> oh, my God, I wanted to die and pee my pants at the same time. I was like, Earth, please open up and swallow me because I'm so flipping embarrassed right now. Like, I don't know this fool right now. So I keep it moving. I'm walking. And I can feel my face getting hot, so I know it's turning red. I'm passing up all these people who work in the restaurant. They're all looking at me, and I'm like, oh, God, they know. I'm walking, 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 trying to get out as fast as I can because I want to laugh at the same time. So I'm embarrassed, but I think it's freaking hilarious. So I can't wait. Finally, I get out. I go into, they have, like, in the casino, they have, like, a little restroom. It's, like, a one-man restroom or whatever. So as soon as I get in there, I mean, I couldn't get in there any faster. I closed that door so hard. But, again, I couldn't laugh because everybody on the outside would hear me. So I'm dying, like, mm. I am rolling, rolling. It was, like, <laughs> I don't know. And I don't know, should, should, should I come out? Are they talking about it already? Does everybody know about it? Is he out there? Did somebody talk to him and ask him about his fart? I mean, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I come out. You know how people oh do. God. They ask people about their fart. <laughs> yes. I don't know. It was, it was <laughs> so, me, it sounded like a fucking trumpet. Problem with your fart. Yeah. It really sounded like a trumpet. <laughs> Like, it was a sneeze and a trumpet sound, like, <laughs> at once. Like, wow. Anyway, so I come out, and to be quite honest, it was, like, literally, like, the most embarrassing, however, the most funniest time of my life. Oh. <laughs> I, oh, God, even till this day, we talk about it, I bring it up, and he, he'll get, like, that embarrassed look on his face, like, <laughs> you know, and it's so hilarious. I was like, can I tell this person? Can I tell this person? As soon as we got in the car, I was like, boom, 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 mom, 
Let me tell you what happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wanted to call oh, everybody. Oh, oh, that was the most funniest thing ever. Crazy, so I'm going to jump over to the comments because we have some more comments. So I'm going to spell this name, but it says K-M-H-T-I-G-G-E-R. I don't tell me if I'm saying that wrong. She said, hey, ladies, this is fun. And then she said, the worst fart, LOL, sounds like my husband. That's funny. My uh, husband is not the only one. Terrible. <laughs> okay, we're going to get off of farts because they're going to forget what this hangout was all about. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But, man, so we get, I should have known when, it, when I said ugly that it was going to get ugly. But, okay, so let's <laughs> talk about uh, a positive note. So turn on. What is something that turns you on about a man? I would say confidence but not cockiness. I do. Don't. Don't be, I don't Very like good. cocky. I don't like, oh, I drive a key. You drive that. I drive a Honda, honey. So that's nice, you know. <laughs> so I don't, don't be cocky, but definitely don't be, you know, be confident. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, sure. I would say, um, oh. Oh, go ahead, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, um, go. I was just going to say, I would say, um, like, for my, like, I'm talking about my husband, so, like, not that there's like other guys, but <laughs> um, when he like the way he is with my son, yeah, that's yeah. like the oh, ultimate yeah. for me. Like a kid. when he's yeah, it's like okay. Definitely, yeah. I think that's so good. Yeah. yeah. Or you see how they treat their mom if they're like kind with their mom. Yeah. Like, yes. that's always mm -hmm. good. Yeah, you don't that's want them to be too good. kind because I will tell you, B is a problem. Then he could be too much of a mom. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh yeah. I'm not gonna put yeah. a boy. Yeah. He's not coming. Boy, he is a mama's boy. Mama calls no. every time today, so he is a mama's boy. But he's like so like kind and sweet with her. It's just it. it you, he's not exactly the same with me, but he's t he like respects me, which is like yeah. a super mm -hmm. turn on because. He, you know, he would never disrespect, which is a big yeah. turn on. Because guys, are, yeah. guys nowadays are so crazy. Like they just yes. have no respect for women. But if I, I told you, when we break up, I think because even how they, y'all see, I'm like this mom. I got pictures of my kids. You don't see the foolishness that comes in my DMs, and it's like I wouldn't even talk to you, kind sir, even <laughs> if I was single. Like. <laughs> Shorty, uh, yeah. So if me and Jamal breaks up, I really think I'm probably gonna be single because the the dating now, how guys approach you, I I can't deal. I really. I don't can't. even know how these ladies do with single moms. I give major props to them because yeah, I could I never. And to deal with all this foolishness, these guys are foolish out here. Tinder, I heard swipe to the left, swipe. So I'm like, oh, oh, <laughs> no way. Okay, no. I would be I single by myself in my house. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. I don't. It's gonna be. It would be hard. Shirley, yeah. you turn yeah. on. I want to say, if anybody uses Tinder that's watching, leave a comment down below because is it is it really real or is it like for booty calls? In my head, I'm thinking it's yeah. like just meeting up with guys. It's like a really. What have heard of it before? Tinder. Tinder. Tinder? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's what they're talking about. Even on the morning news, when I'm watching the news, they're talking about Tinder. Oh, I really? met this guy on Tinder. Yeah, it's weird. Uh -huh. That's what? It. It's an app for dating. You can meet a guy super quick, just like swipe to the left, and then if he likes you, you guys can have a cup. There you go. <laughs> so crazy. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> What's your turn no, on, Shirley? Um, I like when the guy can be like nurturing and not like have to just keep him like that pride, that ego, that like macho ness. Like I'm a man. Like that's great yeah. and all. Don't get me wrong. And I and I think that's a quality I like in a man too. But I like when a man can have like a little sensitive side and yeah. not like sit there bawling his eyeballs over like a, <laughs> like a bomb commercial. You get what I mean. No, no. that's a major turn off for me. No, no. It's a thin line. I like a guy that has like a good swagger. Like I don't. Yeah, can, what do you describe swagger? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just like a sense that they have. Like. Confident, like, confident. Like, sensitive, no. and it's just like you can just look at them and tell that they're, cool. and they don't have to say much. Don't talk too much. I don't want to know too much about what you got and all that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. just to be like, just a certain swagger. I don't know. I don't know if that's even a word, but I. <laughs> it is. It's play. It's a song. <laughs> it's a song. It's a word now. It's a word. Play. <laughs> If thought is a word, swagger is a word. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh it makes me so angry. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> um, not to cut you guys off.
Melanie Shepard, she says, the biggest turn on for me is my husband, his eyes, and his loving and caring side. I'm so lo I'm so loving the ladies. Oh, I love that. I love yeah, that. That's what I mean, that loving I like, side. That, I like that cuteness. I love that. I agree, my girl. Son, my son has, like, really light eyes, and I'm like, the ladies, every, th every time they see him, they're like, his eyes. I'm like, I can only yeah. imagine when he's older, these ladies, yes. the girls are going to love his eyes. You're going to have to watch him. Mm -hmm. All, all, of, you, all of you ladies, I watch your channel, and my eyes are like, all girls, so I love, I love watching you guys. I live through your son. <laughs> I don't even think I should have a son now because I would probably raise somebody that like a girl wouldn't want because I would be all like you know mama clump like mm, like just loving on him because I didn't think I was gonna have a boy so he'd be thirty and I'd just be rubbing his hand but then I like I thirty <laughs> would be the worst that guy was like don't give her a son oh my goodness I turn off oh. Let's say bath breath. That's number one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, good <laughs> Lord. Mm, that's Even a, if it's not your husband, if a guy is trying to come up and talk to you and he is just hawking, you're like, oh, this was mm. like. Oh, I, I think get it. I don't like stinky feet. You cannot be coming at me <laughs> with your feet. I don't like feet as it is. Don't let me. I don't. Don't touch me with your feet. I don't care who you are. All y'all mm -hmm. like, touch me. I know. <laughs> we don't know. Don't come near me with your feet. I'll look at your feet and your pedicure. I will be sure, Shirley, that when we are camping, I <laughs> won't rub my feet against you in the tent. No. And so stinky feet is just like, oh, like I can't, or like, oh no. No, she just thought about it, just gave her a moment. <laughs> I agree, though. I agree as far as the bad breath. That's like, boom, killer, shut it off, oh, I'm yeah. going to sleep, done. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with that. That's no. how you know you love a man if you'll kiss him in the morning with morning breath. You're like, I know I love oh. you because I normally <gasps> would be. <laughs> <laughs> If it's like that, like, like, little bump, I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Was it turn off Lee Howe? Well, I know a lot of us were talking about, like, when guys, like, try to hit on you. Like, the biggest thing, at, at least from my experience, is, like, when they come at you, like, real nasty. Like, they say, like, nasty stuff, yeah. you know? And it's like, for real, you don't even know me. Like, who are <laughs> you? <laughs> DM. It's just... Uh -uh. It's like, how do you think that works? I don't get yes. how those guys think that works. But the works. sad part just, is, it probably does it work. It does. It right. probably does. I, mean, I have a theory. I have a theory about that whole uh, a certain type of men talking too nasty. I'm not gonna say it because I don't believe that it's politically politically correct. But I do have a theory about men talking real nasty. I don't think all men do that. I really don't. <laughs> Do you have, would you, what is the theory? I'm not going to say the theory because oh, I don't believe it. She's just a woman. She's just a woman. Y'all don't know her. Like, I know she's having a cliffhanger. Well, I can't. I can't say it. It's not right. It's not right. Yeah. Are you talking about a race? You know, I love when you're like walking down the street and they're like, beep, beep, hey, mama, how you doing? I know. Yeah. Sorry. Doing good, buddy. <laughs> oh, mommy, I'm sorry. Yeah. How is it? In the beginning is how they will treat you down the road. And so if you're taking yeah. stuff that you're taking now, you're going to be taking yeah. that forever. You're you know, going to be taking so that you wrong. Right, you're, right. You're, you have to stand for what you stand for now. And I think when I was younger, I would have that problem. Like, you don't really know what you want. As I get older, right. I'm like, I'm not even having it. Like, I'll just, mm -hmm. no. Like, it's not even cool. So you have to, like, stand for something or you will fall yeah. for anything. Because right. it's bad, these little girls out here now. Because it's so, it's so different now. It's, like, yeah. different. Yeah. So you have to, like, really believe in your morals and stick with them and not, like, fall prey to these guys because they are just trying to game you. Something serious. I don't think anything's wrong. I feel like dating is missing. And I feel like people think, oh, if I'm not in a relationship, then I'm, I'm missing something. No, you, mm -hmm. I'm not saying be a floozy, but you want to date because how do you know what you like and what you don't like until you try it, you know? Yeah. So you want to date. 
you know, maybe different backgrounds and just date and get to know somebody and then be like, hey, I like a guy who is like this, but I don't like this. You know, if you only eat McDonald's, how do you, you don't know until you have a steak <laughs> dinner. You know? No, no, Taco Bell's as good as they say it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I love me some Taco Bell. Exactly. Mm -hmm. so you mm -hmm. never mm -hmm. know. So I just feel like if you're, if, you're, if you're not in a relationship right now, it's definitely not the end of the world. Kids and men will come. They will come, or females or whatever, you know, you're looking for, they will come. Right now. And then you're going to be wanting to get rid of them for a couple days. <laughs> so can we don't rush it. Don't the, rush it. Oh, high five. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, no, don't rush it. It's going to come and just in the meantime, just date. And then, you know, if this person doesn't work out, don't look at it like, oh, I lost the love of my life. Just like, okay, well, that didn't work. And I realize I like this. I realize I don't like that. I want to, you know, that's that's so you have to right, right. rest out the waters a little bit. Yeah, yeah you have to you date. Have to date. Don't, don't be on my Instagram like, time said to go. All the men. No, I said date. I said go to the movie. Have a little lunch. I have a question. I have a question on Instagram from oh, Magical wow. underscore E. Hey. Uh, hi, girl. Hey. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> she said, what do you guys do during date nights? Yeah, I saw a similar question. It was like, what are your favorite uh, date nights? So uh, I'll answer for myself. Answer. For myself, mm -hmm. dinner. You got to take me to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be much happier. Oh, Eating is like, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> I have we don't have to cook. <laughs> yeah, don't have to cook. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and I'm a drinker. Like, I don't get to drink too often, but if I don't have my kids, and say my kids are sleeping at my mother-in-law's or something, I want, like, dinner and drinks and, like, lots of drinks. Like, I would like to, like, have a few <laughs> drinks. So I don't want to go to the movies. I'll fall asleep at the movies. I will fall asleep. Mm -hmm. I, can't right. I hate going. And definitely don't take me after eight. I'm going to waste seven dollars. <laughs> I just want to watch the one and watch the movie. So it would definitely be a wrap for me because I would does. definitely like eat and I'm good. I'm good. No, but um, yeah, I would definitely want to have like a good meal and lots of drinks. Okay. Okay. Uh, no. What about food. Food. Uh, sure. For me, date nights, I like. I definitely like to go out to eat. We go out to eat probably more than I should admit. Um, <laughs> but I love to go out to eat, and if we don't have to go with the kids, that's just like so much nicer to yeah. like, sit down and enjoy each other. And I don't get the packet of crayons. That's just yeah. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, after, honestly, shopping. Oh, like we love to go shopping, and we'll shop together and like do that kind of stuff. That's House fun. shopping, personal shopping, it doesn't matter. Like we just like to go out shopping. Um, and then we will stop at the liquor store and get like something to make drinks at home. That's pretty. We never really drink oh, out. It's very rare. We always come home and like have drinks at home. Maybe because we want too many. We don't drink often, but when we do, yeah, we'll drink. But we normally come home and make our drinks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Jayra asked me the next day night. I'm like, Shirley's husband took her to eat, and he took her shopping, and yeah, <laughs> crazy shopping. I don't mean like we're dropping hundred dollars. No, shopping. no, that's so fun. We'll out with like twenty bucks worth of stuff, but we'll yeah. just goof down the aisles. If they got those things, we can listen yeah. to music. We'll just play them all, like the animals that like talk. We'll just play them all and run away. You know, just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. I like that. That's yeah, that sounds cool. Like that's they're. So fun. <laughs> no way of going shopping with my husband. Like, yesterday, we're at Target, and he's like... Yeah, that's how he normally is when we have the kids. <laughs> and, and I'm like, come on, man. You know, at least, like, smile. <laughs> you can't be, you can't be <laughs> mad at Target. Can't be I mean, you can't be mad at Target. <laughs> I mean, that's not a place you can be mad at. Yeah, that's just not him. He never goes shopping. The only time he goes shopping is, like, if it's a special occasion and he's trying to buy me a gift. Other than that, I buy him all his clothes. I mean, everything. Yeah. Everything, everything, wow. everything. He doesn't have to go shopping. So that's just not his thing. So I'm like, oh, and I see your vlog, Shirley, and I'm like, man, why can't we go shopping? And I see you right there yeah. shopping with me, and we're both having fun. And it seems like, oh, that's like a good <laughs> always like that when we have the kids. That's not for sure. No. 
No, and he has. It depends on their mood, and you know, it's it, it, one feeds off of the other. So yeah. It's like, when one's kicking one, you know, you can only take so much to stop kicking me, stop kicking me, stop kicking me, stop kicking me. Stop kicking yeah, me. Yeah, oh, I don't want to be in the car. I don't want to be in the car. And oh my God. is way different than mine when it comes to our kids. It's good, but it's, you know, when we're out in public, he, he can't take it much. So hmm. four and a half minutes of vlogging, we don't get much of it. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we're not there. Yeah, now. <laughs> we spend more time in the Starbucks line at Target than we do anywhere else when we have kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, you got any more uh, good day tips for us? So you gave us the best one. Oh, so, um, no. Yes, I'm gonna keep plugging it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it every chance. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. No, um, I really like dates that involve like activities. Like, like the other day we went to Dave and Buster's, and like we were like we're pretty competitive people, so we like to do things that are competitive. So we were playing like the basketball shooting, which just gonna say I beat him All five right. times. <laughs> Thank you. And, and, um, <laughs> and it wasn't the baby basket. It was like the for real basket. Yeah. Anyway, They're serious um, at doing the Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, like, we went to the gun range one day, and that was really fun because he loves going shooting. And I like, you know, it's fun to do things that he likes yeah, to do. But it's, yeah. you know, I'm, it's just, you know, doing something like activity is always fun for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that gun range looked fun. That I, did, looked I like definitely wanted to do that. that it fun. was. It was a little scary because it was like, you know, you're holding a gun. You have to be have safe. You ever done, was this your that. first time? No, it was my second time. We did it. I think we we did it the first year I was married. But I, you know, it was a different gun and all that. So it was it was fun though, and it's good. You know, it, I mean, it's good to know since we have guns in the house. It's good to know like the yeah. safety part of it because. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I wouldn't want to be without that knowledge. So right. Right. we want to be as responsible as we can be. So right. That's awesome. Yeah. But it's fun, you know, just doing something together like that. So What about you, Tyne? Um, our, our best date nights are usually food and stuff like that. And um, we, well, uh, we have, uh, it's called Italianos. We have the best food. So we usually get Italianos. They are a little bit pricier. And we come home and we just, you know, veg out. And the whole yeah. thing for us, I just, I don't want to sound terrible, but it's the sleep because we co sleep. So Aiden is, if yeah. we have a, like somebody to go to sleep, it's like, I love you, hug you. And then he goes to his corner and I go to my corner and no one touches anybody. Thank goodness. Oh, <laughs> so just, you know, just like we, I mean, we still, are, you know, love each other, but it's just that you don't have anybody yeah. kicking you. And we've been cold sleeping oh, yeah. since my, uh, since Alana, she's about to be five and we have our kids pretty close. So we haven't I had a time to ourselves. I couldn't imagine that long time. That's How so are you doing that long? That's crazy. We finally got a mattress under our bed. So yeah. now when the boys come in, they sleep on that because it's a queen size I'm bed sorry. and there's four of us in there. Yeah. So we, yeah. when we bought the second mattress, the old one went under the bed and we pull it out every night. But now they try to come in my room 11 o'clock at night. I'm like, listen, you're not in food. <laughs> this would be all yeah. night long stuff is over. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, that's, you are that's reality, going to right? The garden. I'm like, oh man. Yeah. So we got yeah. the bed and now they sleep on that. But he don't even that's like so that smart. anymore. Yeah, so to be able to sleep and then wake up, it, it's just so refreshing. So I know that sounds so boring, but we're like, the kids are gone, we can sleep. Yeah, <laughs> that's not boring. Hey, man. That's what we used to do. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome. That is when not kids boring. When our kids were little, we skipped everything and went straight to bed. We yeah. dropped them off and came home and just got into bed, and that was oh, it. So mm -hmm. good sleep. Please, please tell me you. I mean, we figure as married couples, married parents, we all go through all se our seasons. We have different seasons in life, and this happens to be the season where our kids are all up in our romantic yeah, life, in it. <laughs> and eventually we'll move on. You know what I mean? So yeah. And then we'll look back and we'll be all sad that we don't have toes in our I know. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, because I know, like, with my 19 and 16 year olds, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I want to shout out the sad. people that are in the comments. Mm -hmm. And I, yes. uh, my girl, the Bells Plus One. I love yes. her. Thank you for watching, love. I appreciate it. You said, uh, great show. So, hey, boo. Oh, oh, uh, hey. Hey. Um, of course, no guts, no glory. She is here. Thank you for yes. watching. She's my Dollar yes, Tree buddy. Hey. 
Um, and then other people are just saying bad breath. Melanie said bad breath is something she doesn't like. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think we're going to go on to our last one because we're coming oh, up. Wow. Yes, yes, exactly. yes. That oh, was really oh, so cool. I see one last question. It says, how often do you guys have date nights? And that one was from uh, Glitter DIY Diva. So thank you so much for all your comments. I really appreciate mm -hmm. it. Um, so she said, how often do you guys have date nights? Well, mine's got a little bit better once my brother moved in with us. Um, we do kind of bump it up to maybe, uh, it's, it's been doing pretty good, so about two to three times a month. But before that, it was, I would say, about two two times a month. We try, and, and just try, like, even, even though I know it's really kind of annoying, but even if, like, you know, even if you take the kids with you, just to get out the house sometimes. It's just really refreshing, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom. Yeah, get the air on your face and not have mm -hmm. to cook. So I know the kids can be a ha hassle sometimes, but definitely just try. Even if you just go somewhere and just get something really quick. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. Yeah, those are yeah. definitely my favorite most, days. Yeah, and most times like going on as a family. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, and then when you take your kids out and you you do have to do maybe dinner with them or something like that. Most times, at least for us, when we come back, they're so rambunctious from being like overstimulated at the restaurant that mm -hmm. they knock out pretty easy. So then it's like, all right, you're not up trying to put them to bed for an hour. They pretty much right. go to bed, and then you could go home, do bath, teeth, you know, bed, and then get back to you guys and just you guys at that point, which is nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So really yeah, as far as us, it just depends on when we can get a sitter as far as like an outside date night. Um, mm -hmm. It's just really random. It depends. Um, my mom, you know, she works and so when she can, she can and we love her for it, but she just can't do it all the time. And, right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then it's my sister-in-law and, you know, that's it. That's all we have and nobody else, they don't stay with anybody else. So, I mean, they'll stay with my sister here. We're just getting used to that. So shout out to my little sis because she's becoming like Hi. the big baby. Hi. <laughs> I'm to get she's ready. She's so pretty too. Yeah, I, say, I saw her oh, get Oh, thank you. Oh, oh yes, sure. she went to her ring dance. Yeah. Ring dance. Yeah, she went yeah, to like another it. ring dance like a week later for like some guy that she was, uh, she's crazy. She's always getting dressed up going somewhere, but. <laughs> so well, now she's our helper, so we'll see if we can get out more. <laughs> Karen, do we have time for my last question, or did you? Well, it's like um, it's coming up on time. It's like nine. It's um, no. ten, ten of ten. Central. Okay. So you want to do the last question, or did you want to wrap it up? Um, we can do the last one. That's fine. Okay. So yeah. the last question, just be sweet. Um, what? Oh no, I'm reading the wrong thing. <laughs> yes, I'm reading it right. Okay. What do you do to keep the love in your relationship? If you have one little bit of wisdom to give all our many subscribers that are watching, so excited to be watching. I would say do something small. Try to make a conscious effort for your spouse yes. every day. Something small, mm -hmm. even if it's like you know he likes his coffee, and you guys, you know, fill up the coffee thing, so all he has to do is brew it, or just. Just something really simple for each other. Just try mm -hmm. to be conscious of something that they like. Mm -hmm. You know, I got the kids for five minutes. Go ahead and pee with the door closed. It's okay. You know? Oh, <laughs> like, that is yeah. the place, you know? Just be yeah. conscious of each other. Yeah. I would say kind of the same thing. Like, be intentional. Like, be intentional about yes. setting time. Like, if you want to have a date night, make it happen. Like, as best as you can. And like we said, if you can't get out of the house, like, try to do something once they go to sleep. Or just be intentional mm -hmm. about it. And I think right. that helps a lot. I know it helps me. Mm -hmm. It helps me a lot. <laughs> but then right. also, like, you, you definitely have to be intentional. Because you, if you're not, it won't happen. But at the same time, right. you should... Roll with the punches because the kids up. might not yes. always work that yeah. way. But yeah. if you're intentional to begin with, you'll get there. And yeah. that's what you need to be in the first place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We definitely try to like shut it down. So sometimes like before we go to bed, we try to both shut it down and watch a show or watch something together just so that you can like have that time together and sit on the couch and laugh and joke cuz we we like to watch and just talk junk to each other yeah. about a show. <laughs> Yeah, because it is it's easy just or something on it's the iPad. It's not, it's not. Yeah, it's easy to be on the iPad or just like any yeah. of the videos. I find that I like will do that for a really long time, and then I'll just go to bed. But if we both say, okay, let's stop what we're doing and hang out for a minute, it, it mm -hmm. 
brings us back to like the core of the relationship. Cause I find that really hard now as, as, as having two kids and it's just like, mm-hmm. it's hard to focus on your relationship. And I think mm-hmm. even for myself, we're trying to like work on it because it's easy just to get lost in the every day to day of living oh, life. Yeah. It's a struggle, mm-hmm. it's definitely a struggle for us. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah I, I agree with all of you ladies. I mean, it's pretty much a thing of not being selfish yeah. at all. And and just being like, you know what, forget everybody, forget everything. Mm-hmm. Even if the kids think I'm mean, I'm sorry, boom, go to bed, do what you got to do, whatever, <laughs> and give all of yourself to your husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but also, that's a- you know, with doing the little things here and there for your husband, even if it means, you know, hey, baby, you know, give a kiss. You know, when they leave, give a kiss when they come home. Very, it's it's all the little things I believe that matter that work up to that. And again, I'm sorry, ladies. You know, men are a little bit different, but when it comes to ladies, sometimes you know you kind of have to be like, I don't want to, but I'm going to because I love you. Yeah, yeah. Like, all right. It's the truth. It's quite a pity. You give them the pity. You're like, okay, you do it. It's like, uh, no, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like the hardest time when I was pregnant. I just had like no desire. It was oh, so no. weird. Different. Day, like, totally different. You know, yeah, yeah. different. It's so weird. When I was right. younger, I would like at the drop of the dime, I was good to go. But as like after having Quincy, it's just like it like just the doctor said it's like normal. But I'm like, is this normal? I was like, I just yeah, yeah. It, it is. Yeah. It's totally normal. Totally like it's totally normal. different kids. Like totally when I had Ava. I couldn't stand Jay Ralph. Like, and Ava looks just like him. And I couldn't, like, I, like, when he would come in the house, it would hurt my world. Like, the smell of him, just him. Now, when I had Alana, I was bunny rat. I was like, oh, you know. And so, right. Yeah. And I mean, especially Ava, if you're smart. a stay at home mom, I mean, all you're seeing is the kids. The yeah. kids. The kids. And you're dealing with things. And I'm sorry, but even when, you know, your husband comes home or if he's home during the day, whatever. Point is, is, your main focus is the kids, 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 make sure this, this, this already. So when it comes time, it's like, really, I'm spent. I've been dealing with yeah. peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or whatever. You know, I'm not focused on all that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, so it's so. totally normal. But like I said, I mean, eventually there will come a time, I feel, that you will be able to get there without... You know, that's good to know. I want to get back. Can you guys believe it? It's one fifty-three. Oh wow! Thank you so much, and handed the floor over to Sarah, and just thank you so much for allowing us to be here. Yeah, thank you. Tonight, you know, it's been a pleasure. Woohoo! I saw um mommy Wolfpack. She said that she has date nights often because of her 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 older daughter. So I hope that that. Oh, awesome! Hi, mommy Wolfpack. Yes. Yay. I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched. I saw that there was like thank more than so much. Here, so we really appreciate it. And we are going to have these uh, bi-weekly. So every other week we're going to be on somebody else's channel having a different topic until we get through everyone. And then we're going to be having our hangouts on the Mommy Mixer channel. Mm-hmm. Um, so next we're going to be on Shirley's channel. And I would love to know what you guys want our topic to be. If you guys yes, want to know yes, what the topics are, we would love to know those as well. What do yeah. you guys want to hear about? Um, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can see it and get to know that we are going to be doing hangouts talking about mommy women stuff. You know, we just want to be relatable because I need girl talk more than a little bit. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. So I'm go- I am Sarah from Sensational Finds. I'm going to have each person go down and again say their name and their channel. So if you aren't subscribed to them, go ahead and subscribe to them because they're all mommies. We all are supporting each other with the same struggles, and that's what I really love about this group of women that we're all just trying to build each other up. So I am Sarah from Sensational Finds, and you guys are on my channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm Shirley from Life as a Twin Mom. So we'll see you over there if you come by. <laughs> Time from my Ava's mom. Also, I want to shout out the Mama Mixes again because we will be putting out weekly vlogs. So make sure that if you're not subscribed to head over yeah, there. Yeah, videos of some sort. Because every mm-hmm. week we're going to put out some type of video about something fun. Yeah. You never know what you're going to get. But also, <laughs> we are totally open to suggestions. So t- uh, tweet us, Instagram, Facebook. If you have any topic you would like us to talk about or a specific mommy to talk about, definitely let us know. We are so open. This is so new for us. 
Um, but you definitely can find me um, at Lay the Mom and the Curly Mommy Vlogs, where we vlog daily. And Lay the Mom, I put up new vlogs uh, three days a week. And everything on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook is Lay the Mom. And love talking to everybody. Hey. All right. All right. Um, Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm Lee Howe again from Blue Blue Bell. So go and check out my channel if you want to. I'd love to have you come. <laughs> and you have Instagram. What's Facebook. that, Dorky? Yeah, I have Instagram, Facebook, um, <laughs> Twitter. Yeah. Awesome DIY. Yeah, you go up. The video that you All right. Do that good video. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Lala. Okay, so you can find me at Fun for Lala here on YouTube or Instagram. Um, I'm posting videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So come and join me. Come on over. <laughs> so thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you so much to everybody that yeah, watched. Thank I you. Really appreciate thank it. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Amazing. Thank you so much. We love time. you. <laughs> I'm going to sign out. We will see you guys uh, this week for a video. I think we're going to be putting the video up on Friday. So be yes. sure to check them on the mixer, and we will see you back. Not next week, the following week on Shirley's yes. channel. So be sure to subscribe to her and look out for that announcement video. Don't forget to tweet us and let us know what you want to see. Yeah. Yes. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.